if your cell phone does take a dive into the sink, a tip to fix it. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. Allegedly, the dry cold air will restore the phone. All right, let's switch it up a bit. Face it, when we think of wine, we think of fancy food and exquisite cuisine. We imagine a guy with a French accent telling you that the 1982 Cabernet will pair well with your pheasant. But who says only fine wine has to go with fine dining? Aria Wessler shows us a winery taking a different approach to pairings. Welcome to Wine Country, a perfect blend of natural beauty, flavorful vino, and fast food? We were kind of taking more of a, a realistic uh, stance as for what your average meal is. A meal that appeals to the poor man's palate and pocketbook rather than an elitist appetite. I think of Kentucky Fried Chicken with, say, you know, Coke or Pepsi. What, if, what are we pairing it with? It's 100% Viognier. Acidity really cuts through richness. And with fried chicken, one of the main flavors is fried. Kind of neutralizes it. And instead of high-priced steak, you can wash down this Big Mac with a white Vignet Rouzon blend. This wine, compared to the first one, is going to have more body. It also has a bit of this creaminess, which matches up with that rich, bold, kind of Thousand Island dressing. You think they should start selling maybe bottles of wine at like fast food restaurants? I think not. Yeah, can I have a, a number one and a large Merlot? If you prefer to think outside the bun, Taco Bell. Try these tacos with a red Sangiovese. It has this fruitiness and this earthiness that match up to the complexity of those tacos there. Turns out the proteins in the meat pair well with tannins, which gives the wine a dry taste. 1 a.m. a taco and some red wine. The winemakers at Page Springs Vineyards and Cellars came up with the idea during their busy season known as Crush. The winemakers here are, you know, working 15, 20 hours a day and don't really have the time to eat maybe the healthiest. Finally, no fast food feast would be complete without a little pizza pizza and a petite Syrah, my personal favorite. Twenty twenty-five dollars with some wine and you yeah. get yourself a full feast. Transforming wine country right. one bite at a time. For The List, I'm Ariel Wessler.